photographs taken by Nigeria's T.Y. Bello are captured proof that a picture is worth a thousand words. So what made you go into photography? I think it was by accident because I used to work as a makeup artist and I really, really wanted to know how to take pictures of my subjects. Yeah. So I thought, okay, this is the perfect, perfect excuse. Let me, photography is like the easiest medium for me. So I just, I just took the plunge. The field of photography is growing now in Nigeria and is, is dominated by men. As a woman, did you find it hard breaking in? Most people would... Um, hear about me and think, oh, she's a man. Yeah, so when I show up with my camera, they're like, mm, what can she do? So if anything, it was always having to prove myself, which was good, because that meant I had to work extra hard. Now, if I was a client, how would you get, get me to warm up and relax so you could have a good shot? I do everything possible to help. Sometimes I offer to do people's makeup for free, just so that I can get that connection and then get them to look at least comfortable in their own skin. And and then um, I just go from there. I absolutely, absolutely hate taking photos. I've been primed and propped and everything. I feel like a prize car ready for the slaughter. But T.Y. has promised. She's promised to make me look gorgeous. So I'm going to exchange my pride and my nervousness for being gorgeous. Our gorgeous girl, Kemi, is too modest for her own good. She is a natural in front of a camera. Is photography more than just taking shots? I think it's a lifestyle. It gets into you and it becomes a way of looking and a way of seeing. Photography gives you like a hands-on approach to life generally. Making pictures, you're constantly connecting with people. And with the click of the shutter, a cover girl is born. T.Y. sees the world through her camera, recording everything she has experienced on her journey through life. But she realizes that her images have their own stories to tell and different eyes read different stories. I remember there's a picture that I have of this woman smoking a pipe and somebody um, walked into the room and said, wow, horrible, I mean, look at the smoke has eaten off her face, look at all the lines on her face, wow, horrible, this, this, this. Then the next day, somebody walked into the same exhibition room and said, wow, the joy of a drag. The joy of a drag. The same <laughs> photograph. Sometimes people would like, react totally different. Yeah. To images, so some, that's why I'm not sometimes afraid to share my point of view, because the images will always take a different life of their own. T.Y. proves herself to be just as good in the kitchen as she is in the studio, and cooking and photography are just some of her many talents. I've been used as a guinea pig in a photo experiment duly fed as compensation and now I get a sneak preview into the work T.Y. is putting into her forthcoming debut solo album. That's right, T.Y. also has the strong smoky voice that made her a firm favorite among Kush fans. You're famous now as a photographer but most people remember you as one third of the member of Kush. How did that start? How did that end? Kush, 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 Kush was meant to be. Kush was God's plan and it all fused together so naturally and we all happened to be in the same fellowship so by chance we did a song together and we caught our very first demo and the rest is history. The gospel group broke hearts when they disbanded but T.Y. is ready to take on the music scene again with her solo album. I'm working with Wally Oni at the moment. I, I work with him very well because we, we, he tends to hear what I hear in my head which is very, very difficult to find in a producer. All the songs are written. So I think basically right now it's to just do the instrumental part. That's what I'm working on next. And what, once that is done, then we start to work on the voicing. In three, four, five years, where do you see yourself? I'm looking forward to that getting completed in the middle of all this because as I'm recording, I'm shooting, I'm doing everything all at the same time. But I'm hoping that in the next year, year and a half, all the different projects, that everything would fall in place and you know, piece itself together nicely. We peel through the many facets of T.Y. Bella's life and she's proved to be a jack of all trades. From hairdressing to makeup artist, from musician to photographer, who says she can't do it all? Yeah.